100 degree days so far, 43. Remember, we averaged 20 in a season. The most is 71. I think that record is safe. Last summer, we're still not there just yet. We had 47. We have 43 right now. But with that 43, we are now tied for ninth most on record. We have an excessive heat warning for tomorrow and Friday as the heat is going to ramp up. Over the next couple of days, uh, it's going to be a little hotter, and that's why we had a heat advisory today. Remember, excessive heat warnings, a step up from that. That's what we have in effect for tomorrow, and your highs will be easily well above 100 degrees yet again, maybe even near record territory because the record is 106 set back in what is the hottest summer on record 2011 and I have uh, Dallas about 105 Fort Worth 106. My official high tomorrow is at DFW is 106. Of course, with the humidity around, it'll feel like probably 108, 109, 110 when you factor in the humidity. A little bit of cloud cover out there today, just some puffy cumulus clouds, but it's nice to at least have, you know, maybe a brief a uh, bit of shade as one of those clouds moves overhead. There's what's left of Harold. Far West Texas really moving into New Mexico at the moment, bringing beneficial rain to those areas, brought beneficial rain uh, to the Rio Grande Valley and por portions of South Texas, of course, did not bring us any rain. We have to wait for this cold front to bring us uh, our next chance of some showers and storms. Nothing really happens on Saturday. Sunday, I don't expect much to happen. That front's going to still be up to the north, but there might be a pop up shower storm somewhere on Sunday. I'm going to go about a 10% coverage. And then as that front moves in on Monday, maybe a little bit better coverage, but but when I say better coverage, I'm saying like 20%, maybe 30% for areas of North Texas. And then as it looks like as that front moves south, there may be a little rain around Monday night into Tuesday morning, but by Tuesday afternoon and evening, I think uh, anything exits uh, off to the south and we'll just be left with a little bit cooler air. So some potentially record highs the next few days. 105 still on Sunday, but then as that front moves in on Monday, 100 for a high. Could Monday's high end up being... 98, 99, sure, just kind of depends on how quickly that front moves in. Could it be 101, 102? Sure, just kind of depends on when that front moves in. But I do have us below 100 degrees on Tuesday and probably Wednesday as well, and maybe even Thursday of next week. Light winds and muggy tonight, 84 for the low, and then tomorrow very hot, dry, and breezy, excessive heat warning, and an air quality alert tomorrow, 106 my high tomorrow afternoon. There's your rain coverages. It's not much, but it's something, 10%, 20%, 20%, 10% Saturday through next Tuesday. Three days there potentially with highs below 100 as we end August. Of course, you know, Thursday might be not might be 99, might be 100, might be 101. Just kind of depends. And I do have us uh, back above 100 degrees as we head into September.